Clarence Gaskins is a man of dates. Where were you born, Clarence? In Mary Hill, North Carolina. What day? April 11, 1939. I came to Connecticut on May 3rd, 1965, and I came to Connecticut. We were, I got married on the December 7, 1965. He remembers the days that shaped his life. I joined the union on the 20th day of November, 1966. And, and the man gave me a steward's badge on January 15th in 67. He said, because we, we had less than, uh, less than 100 members out of 1,000 people. He said, we got to organize. And thus began Clarence's decades-long career at Pratt & Whitney as a press operator. But more importantly, his lifelong journey as a union organizer. Signing up thousands over the years, taking Pratt from an open shop to a closed one. Feel that you ain't got no members, you ain't got no union. Very important cause the union negotiate benefits for the people. You can't negotiate your own contract. The man tell you no, where you go, where you go, where you gonna go? Was, His passion union for union strength in numbers and the power union. of the ballot stems from another important date in his life that happened when he lived in Georgia. The day he tried to vote for presidential candidate John F. Kennedy and was literally told he could not. All day, if I went there one time in 1960, they had a jar corn, a mush miller, a cucumber, and a bar soap. Don't know how many bubbles in a bar soap. You know, and, and how many seeds in a watermelon, and how many seeds in a mushroom, and then cucumbers. How many, do you want to know how many seeds was it? Because he couldn't answer these questions, Clarence, like so many other African Americans at this time, was refused the right to vote. The question I asked him, how many seeds was in there? He said he didn't have to answer because he didn't want to vote. He said, you. You can't, um, you don't know what you're voting for, no way. We feel like we want citizen. You, you know, what can you do? You want a citizen, you couldn't vote. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing you could do. But Clarence did do something about it. He learned from the situation and used what he felt that day to make sure his vote and everyone else's would always count. And that's why even in his golden years, and even when the state is covered top to bottom in mounds of snow, Clarence makes sure he gets to the polls. Well, in the voting time, I get the most I get the absentee ballots. I get absentee ballots. Okay. And then on election day, I, I come to the polls, I drive them to the polls. A few months ago, the governor of Connecticut honored Gaskins with the Lifetime of Service to Working Families Award for his union activism. The machinists were by his side. Life looks very different for Clarence than it did in 1960. I didn't ever believe I'd live to see a black president. But I always said when we got so we could vote, we can change things. But some things are the same, like the tenacity in his veins to make sure everyone's voice is heard and their vote is always counted. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Deirdre Kanievsky.